Welcome back sa ating Business and Transfer Tax Class. Ako pa rin ang inyong guro, Romualdo Fernandez Credo. So tayo ay nasa Chapter 4 na, Common but Rules on Sale of Goods and Services. So kung kayo ay handa na, kumuha ng ball pen at papel para sa important notes. So let's start. Ding, ding, ding. So billing of the tax in the sales invoice. So ang rule is, yung VAT should be presented separately. So magkahiwalay yung gross selling, selling price ng goods or services sa VAT. Nakikita dapat ng customer doon sa resibo o doon sa invoice yung breakdown. Magkano yung price para sa goods? Magkano yung binayaran niya para sa VAT? And of course, dapat correct yung computation ng VAT. Yung 12%, kung applicable sa kanya yung 12% times yung gross selling price, dapat correct yun. So, what happens kapag hindi present separately yung VAT or kung may VAT man na nilagay doon is erroneous or er mali yung computation ng VAT o mali yung nilagay ng VAT. So, ang, mag ang mangyayari dyan is i-consider yung total amount doon sa resibo as total invoice price niya. So, kunwari, VAT inclusive na siya. So, VAT inclusive, ibig sabihin, andoon na yung VAT doon sa total amount. So, paano ikukunin yung VAT na nando doon sa total amount? Gagamitan lang siya, na, of course, ng 12 over 112 or pwede mong i-reduce yan, 3 over 28 ang factor. So, 12 over 12 or ang reduce factor niya ay ang low ang low ang lowest term niya rather is 12 ay 3 over 28 So let us illustrate yung sa invoicing So illustration number 1 Selling price of 1000 that not included was billed in a sales invoice or official receipt which showed a total only of 1,120. Eh, 1, How much was the output value added tax on the sale? So, ang rule nga natin, so hindi daw pinakita separately yung VAT. Kung hindi, ang nakalagay dun sa resibo is yung total na na 1,120. So, therefore, ang magiging value added tax na, sabi nga natin kanina, kapag hindi pinakita yung yung VAT separately, i-assume na natin na total invoice price yun. Kaya, gagamitan natin siya ng factor na 12 over 112 or 3 over 28. So, ang value added tax niya is 100 20. Illustration number 2. Selling price of goods, 1,000. Ang value added tax na nilagay ay 140. So, ang total ay 1,140. How much was the correct value added tax on the sale? So, ito yung example na erroneous yung nilagay na VAT. So, dapat ang gross selling price is 1,000. So, dapat yun ang multiply by 12. So, one, 120 sana katulad nung kanina kasi ang gross selling price kanina is 1,000 din. However, 140, sobra yung nilagay niyang value added tax. So, ano ang rule natin? Pag erroneous yung VAT, yung total na nandu doon sa resibo, yun ang yun ang kukonsider natin na total invoice price na. So, 
1,140 times 12 over 112. Ang correct value added tax is 122 pesos and 14 centavo. Illustration number three. A selling price of 1,000 was reflected in the sales invoice as follows. 1,000 ang selling price. Value added tax is 110. Ang total invoice price is 1,110. How much was the correct value added tax on the sale? So again, erroneous ulit yung kanyang value added tax. So ang gagawin natin, yung total amount dun sa resibo, yun yung gagawin nating total invoice price. So again, ano ibig sabihin ng total invoice price? VAT inclusive. Andun na yung 12%. So therefore, para ma-extract yung VAT dun sa total invoice price na 1,110 Multiply lang natin ulit ng factor natin na 12 over 112 or 3 over 28. And the answer is 118 and 93 centavos. Okay, so it is time for you to apply those concepts sa invoicing. So please answer application or problem solving 1 to 4 to be submitted on the link indicated doon sa ating uh, ipopost dito sa explainer video nakasama. May link naman tayong sinasama pag nagpapasubmit ako ng activity. So speaking of invoices, there are two kinds of invoice presently in use. Namely, yung first is yung pre-approved, pre-printed sales invoice or receipts. Yan yung ipapaprint mo sa printing press. Pero dapat approved ng BIR yung design. So ang gagawin mo is magpapaapprove ka kukuha ka ng approval para magpa-print ka ng, ng, ng receipts or ng invoices. So, ang i-require sa'yo ng BIR, syempre, fill up ka ng application and then, kasama, naka-attach, dapat doon yung design ng iyong resibo. So, kung hindi mo naman kayang mag-design ng resibo, pwede namang pumunta doon sa printing press at magpa-design ka na lang doon sa printing press na na kung saan ka magpaprint, gusto mong magpaprint ng, ng resibo mo. Eh kung wala kang kakilala, of course sa BIR marami silang kilalang nagpiprint ng resibo. Or, since uso na ngayon yung mga technology, pwede namang approve computer-generated sales invoice na lang, yung built-in na nasa system. Pag, nag pag nagkaroon ng transaction, saka lang magpiprint ng resibo. Yun. So, yung parang real-time, ganun yun. Pag, pag bumili ka, saka lang magpiprint yung system ng invoice at ng OR. Lahat ng kailangang documents kasi nakapackage na dun sa, sa system. Letter C, within 5 years from the effectivity of the train law in 2018 and upon the establishment of a system capable of storing and processing the required data, Bureau of internal revenue will require one taxpayer to be engaged in e-commerce also dapat um mayroon ka nang parang e-commerce in internet based na yung business so dapat yung system mo uh, parang dun sa letter B na dapat mayroon ka nang system mayroon ka nang business system para sa mga so iniiwasan na yung mga hard copy parang ganoon Parang computer-based, uh, e-commerce, net, parang ganun. So, gagamitan na ng technology. So, siguro magmamigrate na yung VIR from paper, paper, paper to, to ano na, e-filing na kasi. 
Number two, taxpayer under the large taxpayer services to issue electronic receipts or sales or sales or commercial invoices in lieu of manual receipts. So, parang yan na ang pupuntahan ng, ng BIR. Gusto nila electronic receipts or yung mga invoices na i-issue mo, eh, electronic na. So, parang paperless na. So, ito yung sample ng invoice. Sample receipts. So, dapat yung pre-printed receipts yan. O, pwede naman yung mag-design din sa, sa soft copy para i-print na lang niya pag real-time transaction. So, ang nire-require ng BIR is dapat nandun yung, yung PIN number at saka naka-indicate yung kung ikaw ay VAT at saka non-VAT. At of course, dapat pre-numbered siya. No? Para pag may nawala, baka may irregularity. No? Pag may missing number pala. No? So, dapat pre-numbered. In, tapos in, in duplicate at least. No? Pero kung mas marami ang kailangan mo kasi maraming department ang gumagamit, yung iba nag-triplicate sila. No? Yung iba na apat pa. Depende kasi kung gano'ng kalaki yung, yung company minsan. VAT exemption on sale to senior citizens. Senior citizens are exempted from VAT on purchases of the following lang naman. So, hindi lahat exempted sila. So, dito, exempt, VAT exempt sila. Medicines and essential medical supplies, accessories and equipment, fees of attending physician, yung bayad ng doktor, so exempt yun sa VAT, pag senior citizen, medical, dental, and diagnostic and laboratory fees, pati rin sa transportation, pamasahe, charges in utilization of services of hotels, O, pati pag nag-hotel nag sila, but exempt dapat. Hindi sila bibigyan ng i-impose ng VAT, restaurant, and similar establishment. Sa cinemas, VAT hmm. exempt din sila. Theater and other places of culture, leisure, and amusement. VAT exempt din sila. And for funeral services. So, ang source nito ay yung expanded senior citizens Act. So, nandu doon yung... So, may law. So, this is valid kasi may law na nag-exempt sa kanila. So, nire-recognize naman yun ng, ng, ano, ng, ng tax system. No? Kung may law na nagsasabi na exempted sila, they, they are exempted. Illustration number four. A senior citizen purchased from M Drug Store a certain drug for... He, for his high blood pressure, the drugstore sells this drug to general public at 1,120 value added tax included. What must the sales invoice show on the sale to senior citizen? So, paano ipapakita dun sa resibo? So, of course, il ilalagay yung gross uh, selling, selling price but included na 1,120. Then, ibabawas yung 120 na VAT. So, ang balance na lang, kasi VAT exempt sila, ang balance na lang is 1,000. Tapos, according sa senior citizens law, entitled sila ng discount na 20%. So, yung 1,000, mababawasan pa siya ng 20%. So, 1,000 times 20% is 20 pesos. So, ang selling price ng ang selling price ng medicine is 980 pesos. Another illustration, a family consisting of two senior citizens and three other members ate in a restaurant. But, not included. The food of senior citizen number one was for 300 and for senior citizen number two 200 
the billing for food for the other three member was 500. What must the sales invoice show? For the senior citizen number one, ang kinain niya ay Three hundred, and since yung three hundred is VAT, not VAT, not included, so hindi wala ka ng ibabawas na VAT. So ang ididak mo na lang ay kasi hindi wala namang VAT don sa three hundred. Ang ididak mo lang is yung kanyang discount, senior citizen discount na twenty percent, so sixty pesos. So ang babayaran na lang niya ay two hundred forty. While yung senior citizen number 2, parehas din, ang amount ng bill niya is 200. But not included. So, hindi siya total invoice price. So, walang VAT na tatanggalin doon. So, zero ang VAT. Less yung food discount niya na 20%. So, 200 times 20% is 40. So, ang babayaran na lang niya ay... 160. While yung three members na hindi naman senior citizen na kumain ng worth 500 pesos, syempre, hindi naman sila VAT exempt and wala silang discount kasi hindi naman sila senior citizen. So, regular sila. So, dadagdagan mo lang ng VAT yung 500 kasi wala pang invoice doon. Ay, wala pang VAT doon. Hindi pa total invoice price. So, 500 na gross selling price plus 12% na value added tax. So, ang total is 560 pesos. Okay. So, it's application and problem solving time. So, kayang-kaya nyo yan. So, paki-apply yung rules sa Exemption ng senior citizen sa value added tax at of course yung kanilang 20% na discount. So ulit, kasama ito sa isasubmit nyo doon sa ating link na ipoprovide. para sa activity sa chapter Four. So, make sure na nagsasubmit kayo kasi sinicheck. Okay, so this is the end of chapter 4. So, medyo maliit lang yung chapter 4 din pala. So, see you sa next chapter natin. So, actually, yung, yung VAT is hanggang chapter 8. Pero parang ganito din siya kaliliit. So, next time, I'm planning to, to merge na yung dalawang chapter in one in one discussion para hindi naman sayang. Okay, so I am your teacher in business and transfer tax saying God bless.